So let me go ahead and go ahead and add a big don't. But this is a big do for me. Do be a salesman, okay? People keep on telling you, don't be a salesman, don't be pushy. Look, yes, you need to be a salesman because you are trying to sell your product, your company, your agency. You've been hired or you're about to hire tr and train people to sell your services to their patients, to the physicians, to the hospital. So yes, do be a salesman, but don't be a sleazy salesman. That is the most part that you need to be able to understand. People nowadays have associated salespeople, okay, as sleazy, as cheaters. You don't want to be that person. When you tell a person to describe a salesperson, they will put a lot of negative words associated with a salesperson. And that is the most and the biggest problem in our industry is because people have put that negative impact into salespeople. I'm proud to say that I'm a salesperson. Why? Because I want you to think about this way. The only way this country, the only way the world is able to exist is because of economics. Because somebody goes out there and actually sells things, right? They, that is how we generate money, is through selling, right? No matter what you're trying to do, every single, every single day somebody is selling something. And they need to be able to buy that product or use that service in order for things to occur. Understand this, everyone in this world is a salesperson. Kids are trying to sell you to buy them the toys. Parents are trying to sell their kids to try to be good, okay? People are trying to sell you a computer, all right? You're trying to sell someone that you are a good person and that you should have that job, okay? Everyone in this world is a salesperson. We should not associate any negativity towards that, but I want you to understand this. There are a lot of techniques before you can actually be good or great at what you do. You need to be able to practice, drill, and rehearse. And that is what we're here for, is to give you information and to help you practice, to help you drill, and to help you rehearse. Make sure that you watch all the videos that we have, especially our rapport building video series on what to say, when to say techniques. These are things that are important for you to be able to generate rapport and generate trust with future referral sources. And at the same time is not to be perceived as a salesy or a sleazy salesperson, okay? So let's see here, let's, add, let me, let's put another addition. When you're marketing your company, don't just give them the phone number to the main line of your company. I honestly say give them a cell number of yours. And why you're doing this is because if you tell them this, if there are any problems for them to call you directly, when myself, when I go out there, when I market, I tell them to tell me or call me personally, right on my cell phone, okay? I'm giving them a point of contact. I'm taking ownership. I'm, you want to be able to give them that main person they need to, need to be able to speak to. You need to be able to generate that. You need to show them that there's that one main person, that personal concierge, that there's any problems or questions what you're doing is you're that person or another, and there's another person in your company that is there for them. This is how you build rapport with these, with these discharge planners, these social workers. Have them know your direct number. Have them know your cell phone. Have them know your mail and email. Make sure you tell them, look, I accept text messages. People nowadays, they text. Let them know to text you at a certain number by you being able to be easily contacted, by you being able to be available at the beck and call of them, you're providing them with more trust. You're allowing them to know that you're there for them and that if you're there for them, then they're gonna want to refer to you even more. Okay, so these are just a few do's and don'ts, right? So we wanna be able to share with you guys more do's and don'ts you know, throughout our videos that we're releasing. So keep on watching our videos. I just wanna say congratulations and I just want to say thank you so much. Don't stop. Congratulations again. Keep on watching. Look, most people out there stop within the first hour. They don't watch any more videos. By now, you have gone through several of our videos and keep on watching it. And I just want to say congratulations and understand this. Home health marketing is not hard only if you know what you're doing. And that's what Home Health Success Academy is here for. Keep on watching our videos.